Do you ever wake in these pandemic days and think to yourself, all I really want is a fruit breakfast? Alright, let's go and see what we can find in the garden. During this pandemic, I've actually managed to make myself my own little inside garden. I worked out quickly that I could easily take the soil from all the houseplants that I had around. The biggest problem was water. That of course got turned off really quickly. And you can't use the water from the sky anymore because that's acidic. Now what I found best was to actually keep your t-shirts that you've been sleeping in. And then to actually just wring out all the sweat you've been gathering. This is the technique I used how to make that bath upstairs. But it takes quite a few weeks to save up all of this to make one of those. Because I don't know about you, but in a pandemic, well... I've been having a bit of trouble sleeping. Someone, someone's broken into the house. Oh fuck no, so I'll go and check it out. Oi, what the fuck are you doing in my house? You put down that toilet paper or I'll throw this at your face. You're not gonna throw it at my face, you know then. Why are you throwing the paper? What the fuck? You're my dog. <laughs> you cockwomble, you're not getting my toilet paper. Mr. Squiggles, I won't, I won't live without you. No, Deirdre, no. Don't, don't pick up the grenade. Don't pull the pan out. No. Starfish, you never help me! Either way, let's see what we've been growing in our garden, shall we? It's been lovely to labour the fruits of life again because I've been able to grow some broccoli, there's even a can of caramel, and over here I think my bell pepper's about ready. Now, the only problem with that is that those are vegetables, and I promised you a fruit breakfast, and for that, we're going to have to go outside. So that means only one thing. You're going to have to prepare. What you'll really need to do, of course, is wash your hands. Because there's dirty, filthy germs about. Dirty, filthy germs. So there you have it. If you are willing to brave the outside, then you too in just a few minutes can be enjoying a summer fruit breakfast. Nom nom nom. Problem is, I'm still quite hungry. What do you think, little kitchen buddy? Should we get more fruit? Should I get ready to go out into the lovely fresh air again then?
All right, Pear, where's the fruit hideout? Tell me. Oh, you will tell me, Pear. So get a healthy breakfast and keep your garden clear of parasites. Next week, we'll be looking at how to capture those bastard flying biscuits when they land to feed in your garden and learning how to make banana cheesecake. Ooh, something tickles. Oh my god, what's that? What the fuck was that? Ow! That really hurt. <laughs>